All right, we've got the silver Jeep over today getting a winch replacement. We've got a fairly old Smitty built on. It was on the Jeep when he got it. We really don't know how old the thing is. Recently, it started acting up. This clutch here is very hard to get in and out of free spool and engage. It's just showing some signs of old age and the uh, handle actually electrocuted him last week when we were out wheeling. So it's time for another winch. Smitty Milt's pretty good about their winches. Like I said, this one, there's no telling how old it is. It's probably just outdated. It's a 9,500 pound. And what he chose to go with is the good old Warren VR Evo. Brand new Warren, just got in yesterday. He went with the 10,000 pound synthetic rope. Should never have any issues out of this. So about to get it installed on here. First step's gonna be getting everything off the battery you just have a positive and negative lead get all that pulled out get it pulled through the grill he's got his routed about the same as i did mine so get all the wiring detached and then i believe with these motor built bumpers we're going to have to pull the bumper off in order to get up under here to take the winch off itself uh, so that getting the factor 55 and the fair lead off probably going to be the first steps here We've got all the wires disconnected, left everything alone. This battery is pretty nice. It's got separate terminals for the positive and negative to run your accessories, so you don't have to pull the main terminals off. So we fished all the wiring out of here. Working on pulling the motor built bumper off now. We got the fair lead off, got the factor 55 unit off. So once the bumper comes off, the winch will obviously come with it. And then we'll start swapping on the worn and getting the smitty built off these bolts are usually a t55 torx i think that's what they were from the factory but his were actually a 19 millimeter standard six point bolt head so that's what we're up to bumper came off fairly easily here's a lot of the problems that i had when i put my bumper on a lot of these nut certs welded from the factory tend to break off with old age the more you take stuff in and out of here, the looser they get, the weaker they get. So thankfully his is in pretty good shape. It's just two bolts up top on either side and one on the bottom. So here we've got the bumper off on the ground. Like I said, this is a motor built stubby with the little stinger. And then the winch bolts are just gonna be four bolts on the bottom side here. We've gotta get those off. The winch should come off little winch comparison for you guys there's the old smitty built 9500 we were just talking about how funny it is that these are really only 500 pound rating difference this is a 10,000 that's a 9500 yet this unit is so much beefier I'm not sure if it's just Warren's design what they do with the outside of the winch or what it is but I doubt his little winch cover is still gonna fit because this is so much bigger but there's you old versus new, Smitty built versus worn. I've been running my worn for over three years now and haven't had any issues, so hopefully he does the same with this one. Ends up being a good winch. We got the new worn down here on the ground, about to put it on to the motor built bumper. Worn came with all new hardware. His hardware wasn't terrible, but it's been on there for who knows how long, so we're gonna use all the worn stuff. So these four actually mount the winch to the bumper. This threads up through the bottom and then you've got a square insert here that actually slides into the bottom of the winch like that. So you don't need to put a wrench or anything on the back side of these to hold it on. So we're about to get these mounted onto the motor belt with these four bolts. And then we'll go from there. It's a quick update. We were trying to get the worn on and realized that this fair lead bracket wasn't going to work i assume this is the motor built bracket that is made not for the worn vr evo because there's two different brackets when i bought mine i had to get one specifically not for the vr series warns and we're assuming this one is the wrong one because if you see on this side it actually has this little fin it's kind of like a support bracket and the vr worn won't fit on with that so we've actually got the uh cut off wheel out and we're slicing this up to make it work i'm just gonna shoot that with a little coat of paint should be good to go just wanted to let you guys know to make sure to get the right fairly bracket when you're buying your new worn winch all right after our little snag we managed to get the worn on um 
actually ended up having to ditch a couple of the washers because the bolts running through the bottom of the moto belt are barely long enough to catch the winch and secure it to the bottom of the bumper but everything's on we're about to hook up our negative lead here my winch when i bought it i had to install the solenoid box and hook all this up myself his already came assembled so you got your positive coming out which obviously just hooks up like it is and he should have a negative lead somewhere in the box that you put right here run to the negative lead on the battery and we should start being able to button this thing up it's kind of a first look at the new winch it's a lot easier doing this with two people but we got the bumper back on got all the bolts snugged up again these are 19 mil but on a stock bumper they're going to be a t55 torx he was able to keep his pods we reuse the uh, Factor 55 Fairlead instead of the new worn one just for aesthetics. Kind of a cool color. Fish the wires through the uh, last little opening in the grill here, right where the old ones were. And then we will zip time and clean all this up, heading back to the battery. So, other than having to cut this Fairlead bracket, it's been pretty simple. All right, so it's time to. Reinstall the Factor 55. He's got the Pro Link. It's kind of their oldest design. People always wonder how these things work. So all you do is this is how the winch cable came. It's got a loop in it. Literally just slides in the bottom. You've got a pin here that slides through the Factor 55. And then it also comes with a little snap ring. So you have to have a set of snap ring pliers. And all this does is go in here to retain that pin. So I'm gonna grab my snap ring pliers. So we've got our snap ring pliers with the snap ring in. All you do is stick it in here, make sure it's seated, and pull your pliers out. That's it. Here's the finished product. Everything bolted on well. Looks pretty good on here. This is a much more aesthetically pleasing winch than the Smitty built, so it may not even run a cover on the thing. Just See how it goes. Got the Factor 55 back on, tested it out, everything works, runs smooth. Like I said, he went with the 10S. Size-wise, really no difference. We've got mine sitting just right here. It's basically the same winch, just stronger motor. I thought this one may be a little bulkier, but it's not really. That's pretty much it for this one. Probably a pretty short video. Just wanted you guys to see how to swap out a winch. Fairly simple with these warns. His came fully assembled, so not, not too much to the wiring. There you go. 8S, 10S. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.